If, they, if we ever had a, a family movie, it's probably that one about how 9-11 was an inside job. And I looked over at him, and he looked over at me with his whiskey, and he goes, when boys were bloody men. Give him a call, and he's like, yeah, I'm in Ohio. And he said it so casually. He said it like, yeah, I'm gonna be a little late. I'm just gonna need to go to Canada real quick. Fuck you, Dad! All right, welcome to another episode of Fuck You, Dad, everybody. You know what it is. Uh, this episode, we have a, a good friend of mine, a writer for Conan and The Onion. Give it up for Skylar Higley, everybody. Hooray. Hello. <laughs> can you hear that? On, can man. you hear that, Skylar? Can yeah, you I hear can, everybody I can hear giving the, it up? I can hear the applause. There's one boo, but I always yeah. hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that fine. guy's not cool. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so I want to I wanna start off the episode with... Um, because we got to talk about it at some point. Because we worked in the same office together. Yep. I still work in that office, so we I I, I can't name it because I I do want to talk shit about a guy that no longer works there. The boss we both worked under. I'm gonna call him Stan. Uh huh. Uh, and the and the 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 office he worked for, by the way, listeners, is Apple. It's, 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 it's <laughs> yeah, Apple. It is. So yeah, they're yeah. gonna hear this, yeah, but yeah. whatever. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> the guy was Steve Jobs. So <laughs> right, let's shit on no, him. No, I I just. The, the our boss Stan was like the craziest guy I think I've ever worked for, and I was wondering if he did he ever give you a spiritual pep talk in his office? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Oh, um, I want to hear about this. Yeah, well, it was. What is it like to get a spiritual pep talk? A job where you make like thirteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh um, man. See now, now that we're talking about it, yeah, because. Yeah. Stan is friends with me on Facebook. Yeah, no, me too. I understand what what might be happening. The boss friend on Facebook is is brutal. So it's not like there's a it's not like there's a huge risk, but I also am now aware of like he could he could hear it. But uh, it was one of these. It was just an unasked for kind of talk about. Well, here's what it was. I said something about like. I don't know, I was tired or something, and I was like something mm -hmm. about, like, yeah, you know, I'm feeling a little whatever, you know? And he goes, well, you know, you just got to take that, and you can just be positive, and there's positivity, and, you know, everything's positive, all you got to do is positivity. <laughs> just saying a bunch of shit about positivity. And I said something like, uh, yeah, but, you know, um, the human brain, as far as positivity is concerned, is not necessarily, like, wired for positivity typically we have this thing called the negativity bias it's based on evolution oh my when, god when did you really say you really you hit this man back with a thesis <laughs> oh you hit him back with a thesis it, well, <laughs> i think well here's why we were on the subject of i don't know i think the positivity thing came after we were on the subject he has of, like a powerpoint ready to go <laughs> he, has actually, like, he has like bar graphs he's like this is you're 98 percent full of shit yeah as you can this see. is why th this doesn't work yeah. no we are on the subject of like uh, somebody doing something that upsets you or that you don't like or that you like if you think of them negatively because they yeah. did something that like or like if if you hear like five nice things and one rude thing about you you're gonna focus on the rude thing that's mm -hmm. like our negativity bias that's kind of what I was talking about yeah and this man straight up goes stands like I don't have that <laughs> and I go no, you're no, like, no, no, that's like evolutionally it, impossible. Yeah, no, 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 I'm like, that's not, no, I don't mean uh, that, that that's uh, like a personal sort of like, th that's like just kind of how we all are. You can be better about it. You can be more positive than other people. Obviously there's a range, but like we all typically focus on negative things because it's about like not dying in the wild because we don't want to eat like poison shit. You yeah. Know? That's just, he goes, no, 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 you, you just got to be positive. Yeah. If you just focus on the positive and then he starts, he starts, you know, doing his thing where He's really talking to you. If, if you just have the positivity, <laughs> you can. It's amazing what you can accomplish. And any negativity, you can just block that out. You can just block. And I'm like, and then it becomes this kind of 15 minute sort of. <laughs> oh, it's longer than 15 minutes. Trust me. Yeah. Because I, the minute, why I was so <laughs> astonished that you said that is because I knew at that very moment that that meeting is going to be one, two, or three hours. He would call people into his. Wait for three hours. I mean, I we had a conversation for. For two and a half hours in that office about sort of like the same thing and I he's not a bad guy but it was like this level of like I think we were both on the same level of like we don't want to do work but mm -hmm. he's like I'll just ramble about positivity yeah. for two and a half hours <laughs> and someone will will sit there and listen to me because I, right and I was perfect because I didn't do what Skylar did I was just pure defense mode just like oh yeah Yes, yes. No, that's yes. what I got into. See, this is how the conversation started. That's what kicked it into the That's overdrive. a lot of confidence, actually. Every job I had, whenever they say something, I'm like, yeah, that sounds about right. Well, it wasn't <laughs> even like I was disagreeing. It was just more that, like, this is the thing.
thing that came up and that was the thing that I postulated because I read a book. So I know one <laughs> fact. And then he took that fact and was like, no, yeah, yeah, you can't nice. think about those. Here's how to, you know, you can do anything. This is how to, this is why this office is, is, is so great. This is why you now at your minimum wage job can <laughs> yeah. accomplish your dreams. That'd be like, great if you gave me the pep talk. You just quit immediately. You're like, right, I'm right. <laughs> I should go back to school. I don't need to work here at this telemarketing scam. You yeah. know, you remember what happened to, <laughs> you remember what happened at Christmas? Oh, yes. Our, I mean, it was very close to when you think of the office because they sell paper. Yeah. Another pointless. Th it's a pointless thing that we're doing. <laughs> yeah. So it's the same kind of environment. And uh, I mean, the Christmas parties would always get out of hand. Are you talking about the guy who was really late? No, no. So I was only there for one. It was just right before I'm Christmas. To think I remember th this happening where um, leading up to Christmas, there was all this like. Uh, oh, like, shit, oh, dude. This is the best. <laughs> okay, I do remember this Christmas. It was like a family. It literally is like a family what happened. Yeah. It's so – it was like it, – it, it was like what do you guys want to do? What do you want to do for Christmas? How should we decorate? What should we do? Like the, our boss was saying that and – <laughs> I'm the type of person where I go, I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, right, I, as you do. Because you're like, I don't want to be here anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. care. And everybody – equally was indifferent and he's like so do you guys want to do a christmas thing and everyone's like yeah yeah i'm sure you know you know i don't want not want to yeah, yeah so yeah of course he's like okay well then you guys like decide what you want to do and we go all right all right and then <laughs> he just keeps ramping up the intensity of asking us specifically what we would want to do with christmas where it's like i just feel like you want to do something. he's like no 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 i don't care I don't care. I don't care. Because it seems like, you know, if you don't care, then I don't care. Uh, and none of us care. So nobody yeah. cares. And it was like, okay, you very clearly care right now. You care the most. And then I remember it was well, maybe it was like a week before or something like that or when we were like getting close to it. Then he just uh, – <laughs> then he – I remember him getting like really mad mm -hmm. and being like, it's a classic. It's a good fuck you dad story. Cause it's a dad <laughs> Christmas meltdown. Like it was a classic dad Christmas meltdown. It really was. Yeah. And it, it was just like, so what? So nobody even like, I th this is supposed to be a family. We're all supposed to be cool. And then nobody cares about Christmas. Nobody even <laughs> wants to like, nobody's even trying to do the decorations. I asked you guys what you wanted to do and nobody said that they wanted to do anything. And this is it's like, you don't even care about this. And I'm the only one who cares. And we're just like, <laughs> You yeah, know, then, you then nobody said yeah, like, again. It was like three straight. He asked a question. Everyone was very passive. Like, yeah, we could do whatever. Yeah. And then he asked again. It was another passive thing. And then he blew. He was like, well, if nobody gives a fuck. I don't give a fuck, man. We're not going to do Christmas at all. How do you feel about that? And everyone was like, yeah, man, I don't, I don't, I don't care. And, oh, he slammed his door. I would have yeah. loved that one person was like, you're not being really positive right now. <laughs> Seem a little, the negativity is getting <laughs> Just gotta put that positivity shield up. <laughs> yeah. It's just to see him scream about oh, like man. "fuck Christmas, man," and then there's just a poster behind him with a kitten just like hanging yeah, in, in there. there. <laughs> Why does every office have to come with like we need these motivational? Just, just get the stuff you have in like the guidance counselor's room when you're suicidal. You know it's, what I mean? That's, that's what I they mean, have that's it why, at all. Because you're suicidal. <laughs> I know, like, yes. you, just, you do need to be hanging in there. Yeah. yeah. It's like keep going. You gotta make it through it, or you'll <laughs> yeah. be poor. It's yeah. a way to you know how they they now. Um, they found out a way to calm the cows down before they zap them and turn them into beef. <laughs> yep. That's what those signs are. It's just kind of calming people yeah, down the treadmill. Bit. Right. So true. Yeah. So, uh, Skylar, you are originally from Salt Lake City, correct? Yeah. Now, you grew up there, right? Bor I did. But not, were you born and raised there? I was born in Philadelphia. I grew okay. up in Salt Lake City. Gotcha. And now, that uh, did you have a... Were you like getting in trouble a lot? Were you a rap scallion or were no, you a funny guy? I was um well, it's an interesting like combination because I would do like funny creative things and I would try to make people laugh, but I wasn't really like the I was always like a really like good kid up until I want to say like maybe like middle school, high school, and even then I didn't get in that much trouble, but like every once in a while I would just do some like random crazy yes, thing, yes. and then I'd be like, I don't know what, like, I don't know where that came from. I just have these like 
uh, at, at a certain point, like I was just so much of a rule follower that I would get like impulses to be like, you know, I don't know, be like, fuck you to the system or whatever. Uh-huh. You would and, feel your soul popping up every now and then. Yeah, every <laughs> once in a while. Yeah. And so I was like, I was like a pretty um, uh, straight laced kid through everybody would be like, oh yeah, you know, such a rule follower. And then like, uh, every once in a while I'd go like, you know, I did a senior prank or whatever where we fucking toilet papered the school and they suspended me and I was in student you government. suspended I, for toilet papering the school? This we is did. Salt Lake so, City. It I is. Mean, I, I, I cannot, have fun there in prison. I cannot tell you how lame of a place I grew up. <laughs> it's like, you, you, you know, beer is illegal. They can only drink yeah. like 3% beer. And it's like Footloose Town. Like you can't dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, it's terrible. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> no, they suspended me and they, and they made a big deal about it because I was in student government. So they were like. Oh, you! Oh, this is look such at the a, corruption. Yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> this is such a blight on you know whatever. It was the Watergate of your school. Yeah, and I had a I had a thing where when I was running for student government in high school, I uh, I I wrote this like speech. It was like basically my first time doing stand up, where I made all these jokes that were like these like quote unquote offensive jokes where I said it was, North Korea was threatening us. So I remember saying I like, like how this is how you're getting elected. You're like, let me just do like seven no, minutes. Well, says- yeah, we're like, well, I'm gonna kill. And then people be like, well, was- I want more of that. Yeah, that was yeah. the whole thing. And that was the only way because the other girl that was like running against me was like more like traditionally popular than I was. And uh, you, had to, you had to beat them on stage. But all those speeches are so boring. They're like, I'm gonna get it. Uh, uh-huh. the, the water fountains look kind of gross, so I'm gonna fix that. And I promise I'll blah, blah, uh-huh. blah. Yeah, yeah. And running against Mickey Mouse. Skyler's a man of the people. <laughs> and and I did. I ran on that populist vote. Donald yeah. Trump stole my yeah. whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I said, uh, unlike North Korea, uh, I'll actually do what I say I'll do. <laughs> okay. uh, like, that's funny. Being yeah. like, we're going to bomb us. And then uh, because I was uh, I was running against somebody who was Samoan, but everybody else at the school is fucking Here white. We go. So I said, if you, I'm Skyway Higley. If you don't vote for me, you're racist. And, that's funny. Uh, that went off. <laughs> and I remember like going after that whole speech and that assembly – I remember immediately I get pulled out of class and have to go talk to the principal. And they are like, yeah, so they're like, you, every single person in the town voted for you. The, like every single person. Well, the, the, they were going to maybe not let me. They were deciding whether to kick me out of the Really? Race Just because you were, were like, funny? Yeah. Well, yeah, the correct. jokes you're, were. You're, too, you're a little bit too talented here. Yeah, uh, they yeah. just <laughs> wouldn't let, like, they didn't like people saying I can see that. Kinds of thing. They're yeah. like, wow, that was offensive. And, and then I remember my principal saying, like, well, what if North Korea does do something? How much oh, my God. Like, I don't fucking know, can, you dude. Don't, you don't, can you imagine recording a dry bar special for these people? I That's know. what comedians do. They yeah. go to the, the least fun place on earth. Mm-hmm. They try to make them laugh and record a comedy special. Oh, and honestly, yeah. if the North crazy. Koreans actually got a bomb all the way here, I'd feel a little bit proud. I'd be like, oh, look at that little guy. Yeah, that'd be it. Yeah, someone falling through. That's yeah. actually the most American thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They came Get up from their received. bootstraps. It's a yeah. dream. Mm-hmm. Made a bomb, got it all the way here, focused on one thing, made it yeah, happen. Absolutely. That's American as fuck. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so that was at the very beginning. Like, that was I, the the only times I'd ever, like, done something that deemed me talking to the principal was, like, right at the beginning. Uh, that was, like, close to the end of my junior year. And and he was just like, oh, I know you're a good kid, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, at the end of my senior year, when we did that little prank, I have to go talk to him again because I'm in student government. And it was like this nice little bookend to my story with the, the, the principal where he's just like, oh, here you are. You're in here again with the, your shit. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is, you know, That's kind whatever. of like a cool, like, Lenny Bruce way to go into the principal's yeah, office. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. You know what I mean? I'm being, like, too yeah. cool for school, literally. I, I got called in once because... I wrote, uh, there was this guy who, I don't know, some people might, I guess it was bullying, but people didn't consider it bullying. <laughs> Love any story, I guess, guess it's what? bullying, I, but I let me tell you, it was a fun time. I it was probably bullying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he put me, okay, yeah, he put me in a trash can in language arts class. Okay, what do you mean? I guess it was bullying. I guess yeah. it might have been. It's like bullying assault. To be what do you mean? Put, so he, like, he picked you up and just threw physically. You the, I was this little kid. Yeah, you know? and he called me garbage boy, and I guess that's <laughs> bullying. Maybe. Did you, you ever you ever realize like some people just didn't get bullied? Like I was talking oh, to someone yeah. recently, like, "What you were bullied?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's just how life works, right?" Yeah. That's what I. If see, that's just, what if I always thought. If you're just the weird kid. <laughs> then they just come at you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And it was like, of course, I was that person. They just come at you. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. Uh, so the next day in language arts class, I wrote, uh, 
a rap, I guess. <laughs> is more of a poet. So I you? wrote lame raps too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wrote this rap oh, about God. Grant Hempel, about how he's an asshole, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it used some pretty bad words. And then uh, I gave it to him. And he, he just like read it and like he was laughing at it. He thought it was funny. But then he kind of like, I don't know. I, th- I don't know where he put it. I just gave it to him. Apparently, he like just threw it on the ground in the hallway, and was, the vice principal of the whole school picks it up oh, and yeah. reads this and goes, God, this is horrendous. Gets Grant Hempel in the office, and Grant goes, and he's like, who, who wrote this? And Grant goes, oh, Nick wrote it. And then so I go in there, so it's me, Grant, and then I'm looking at the piece of paper and that feeling in your stomach, because I knew what was on there. Yeah. I called him a fucking asshole, prick, rich kid, uh-huh. you, your parents are divorced for a reason, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he goes, uh, you understand why this is inappropriate to write about someone. And I was like, he put me in a trash can. And then he goes, is it true that you put him in a trash can? And Grant Hempel was like, yeah, yeah, I put him in a trash can yesterday. And he, the vice principal laughed, chuckled. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He's okay, like, That's well. pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Grant, and I Nick was like, can get out of here. Me and Grant can have a couple beers. <laughs> but a little bit. Of I don't like, like the written word. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> more, I'm more. Of, yeah, yeah, I'm more of a prop guy. Yeah. That's how I felt. <laughs> that's how I felt. I was like, if you think that's, that's funny, read laugh. read lines five and six in there. They're pretty good, yeah, actually. Yeah. If you get to that point. Yeah. But yeah, he actually he let us both go with a warning, and then Grant, like out of the way, out of the office, like tussles my hair, and he was like, eh, "I didn't get you in trouble or whatever," and I was like, "Fuck you!" I, 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 I really love how adorable it is. You're like, "I'm gonna write something mean," and then hand it to him. <laughs> yeah, like, I know. I was like, "Nick, you want to be thrown in the dumpster?" I was like, "That's I, not how you. That's not how you <laughs> respond to these monsters." Keep your head down. <laughs> my dad always said, "Use your brain, not your not your brawn." So that's what I thought I was doing. Yeah, use your brain. Don't hand the man a note. <laughs> yeah, that's man. asking for more shit. You're like, hand to the prince. If, if that sucked, dude, if you wrote a note <laughs> and it bombed, he would have handed it to everybody. would have ruined you. Oh my God, Probably threw you in the trash can to an applause right. break. Oh, that that's what you got. You got to think five steps ahead of these oh, people. Oh, man. See? Because I had that once where uh, someone was bullying me in, in uh, high school, uh, middle school. And it's like, you can say whatever. You're going to be at this fucking bus stop for the rest of your life, dude. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and, then, and then And then and it got killed. House spray. And then, and then he got a little offended. Yeah, so he yeah, responded. Yeah. He's, he's more of a physical guy. Pick me up just threw me on my back. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so I was like, yeah, it's just like, all right, all right. You're still stronger than me, but whatever. It's, it's, like, that, uh, it's like that scene in uh, Batman where Batman's kicking the shit out of the Joker. And yeah. you're the Joker. And you're like, you have nothing you can threaten me yeah. with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep being an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, no, this will turn into like a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Skylar, uh, did you have a, a dad story you wanted to share on the pod? I had. Oh, I have. Okay, you have several. I know. No, but speaking of of just straight up bullying. Yes. So, <laughs> it was. Uh, this, this story isn't funny at all. By the way. Oh, it's. I cool. mean, it's. Uh, it, it's funny in its punchline, I guess. But I remember I was fucking. We lived in, like, the first neighborhood that I grew up in before uh, my parents got divorced. We lived right across the street from a church, a Mormon church. Uh, and <laughs> Good disclaimer. It was, it was yeah. the one that we went to, you know, weekly. And there was, like, this uh, just, you know, the sidewalk on there where I would be, like, trying to learn to ride my bike and, like, get the training wheels off my bike and shit. And I just like fucking could not get it. Like every time it, first of all, it, it was an insanely stressful experience where it's like fucking my, my dad at my back, just like fucking pushing me to like go, you know, and I'm like, I'm like going too fast, like fucking can't balance myself. And uh-huh. then it just, every time it was just like me going like a few feet being pushed and just fucking wiping out, you know? And I always I, I have this similar story with the bike training thing. And I was oh, even back then. I was like, why does he have to be a part of this? Yeah. Mm. Like I have the training. Fucking wheels. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, Fucking I, I exactly. can do this. I can why do this. is he a part of it? Because it's like there, you're putting on this momentum that like I can't handle. Yeah. yeah, I, am, yeah. I am a small child on this fucking tiny little bike. Why does it need to be like this? Like huge. Like uh, I don't understand. And I, so I remember like I in my memory of it. This might not be true. Uh, we, we were trying it for, like, what felt like weeks in a row. Like, I, I'm sure it was days, but it, it felt like <laughs> we had been fucking working on this. And every time I would just, like, wipe out. And then every time my dad would just fucking get mad. Like, I'd start falling. And then instead of being like, hey, buddy, it's okay. You can you can do it. You know, uh-huh. how are you supposed to treat kids? Yeah. Uh, my dad would just start getting madder and madder and madder about, like, why aren't you doing it? Like, why can't you figure it out? Uh-huh. So I remember, like... 
him like just this one distinct time of him pushing me i'm going like fucking i i fall over i wipe out i scrape my fucking leg and i'm like bleeding and then i start crying and then my dad's just like you're you you, you, you fucking you your your son's fucking he was talking to my mom he's like your son's fucking stupid and i'm like Ooh. i'm like oh my god he's like he's just an idiot i don't know why he can't do this and he just fucking storms off my mom like picks me up and like fucking you know like dust me off and we go in and it's just like yeah i'm not going to i'm not going to try to learn how to ride a bike anymore and then um so i'm at my friend's house maybe like a couple days later yeah. and he rides his bike without his training wheels and i'm like so impressed and astounded i'm like how do you how do you do that how do you ride your bike without training wheels like this is this is insane like i don't even think that's possible uh-huh. and he's just like no, you just do it like this. And I swear to God, he did not show me anything. He just like kind of did it again. You know, he's just like, just like this and just does it. And I go, huh, let me try that. And I got on and I fucking did it immediately. God damn right. I mean, a fucking me. And I was like, hey, um, and I knew my parents were like out in the front. And I was just like, hey, let's, let's, um. Let's ride back to my house real quick. And and I I I remember rolling up to my house like off my training wheels, like riding f- like forward and backwards, like in front of the house with my parents there, being like, "What now, bitch?" Yeah, <laughs> like, that's like, your oh, first I, like spite action. I fuck it. I, I did it. I did it, and I it didn't probably, need you for it. It was probably the it. fucking pressure. No, exactly. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not a hard thing to do. But I was no. just like, "What?" The Anytime f- somebody's like aggressively like, "You need to do this." Do it. Yeah. It's an eight, <laughs> it's like an eight mile moment with, with the bike. It feels right. <laughs> Right. Every time I do it, I get yelled at. Like, yeah, this is not going to be a way that helps me to accomplish something. And then I remember doing it so – and the fact that I did it so immediately, I was like, this is insane. And I remember rolling up being like, yeah, yep, I did it. And then, you know, uh, my dad, like, just didn't acknowledge it. He He was like, all right. He didn't go out. He's like, I guess I made you bleed for nothing. Yeah, Yeah, he wasn't like, oh, hey, I was an asshole. There was no apology. Yeah, I didn't need to push you down for that. Obviously. No, no, no. I feel, I mean, I feel like that kind of feeling of, Riding your bike in front of him, that is, I'm trying to still get there with my whole life. <laughs> of course, ah, I am. Of course. that fuels everything I do. Exactly. Yeah. Like that, that kind of, one my day I'm going to pull up bike. to the house in a fucking nice ass car that I didn't work for, and I fucking, I'm like, yeah, what now? I talked about you, and I made uh, enough money <laughs> to fucking buy this car. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was, so that was definitely, that was, you know, that was the, the dad style that I had. That was the that was a type angry yes n- not helpful type of dude and he was he was your uh, we didn't bring this up but you're adopted oh yeah this is my adopted dad so so that's like, crazy because that's the one that like, chose you yeah 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 oh, <laughs> this is the good one <laughs> uh, more like the more perspective I get onto it I don't think he was like crazy about adoption oh, I think it was more of your mom I maybe. think it was more of my mom because she couldn't have kids uh, for whatever medical reason. And so she, like, living in that kind of place, you know. You gotta you have a kid. Gotta have kids. Yeah, gotta have a kid. So they're just like, let's, you know, let's adopt. That's, we'll try to yeah. do that. The black ones are cheaper. Let's <laughs> get a bargain. And, uh, yeah, so I think that was definitely part of it. I think he got, you know, emotionally on board kind of enough but he was also just like a textbook narcissist so he's just, he's, he's just kind of a douche he was just, well, uh, is that no, like, like almost stereotypical i feel like every you know not to sound like every movie i watch about adoptions like the mom's super nice and the dad's like i just did this basically to, mm, to please the mom you know i don't even i don't know like i don't Stuart know the little numbers. wasn't like i don't that. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I, I was thinking of what there was a recent netflix thing about chess you know what i'm talking about oh queen's gambit queen's gambit I was like that. that and that's that's what's goes on what's what goes on in there like a mom adopts him and the dad's basically doesn't couldn't care less. I think it's because moms moms adopt kids because they want to love a child, and dads do it because they want to, you know, they want like a a legacy or whatever. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why dads have kids. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. And it seemed like like when my I remember when my dad had like uh, oh, man, this is a very revealing podcast. When my dad cheated on my mom, <laughs> oh, there, and we then, go. there we go. And, and with the when they got divorced, and then he had like a new kid. I remember his brother, my uncle at the time saying like, uh, I was like, ooh, maybe nine when this happened, nine or 10. I remember my uncle kind of offhandedly saying like, oh, it's it's great that uh, Ken's gonna have a kid now. Oh. And I go, oh. um, 
Oh man, I just said my dad's name. Uh, <laughs> who gives a fuck? Yeah. I don't. I don't we can believe it if you want. Yeah, it's cool. Bleep. I mean, I don't think he is gonna listen to it. But then also, uh, who knows? It, yeah. it, if yeah. if uh, you know, if our old boss hears it, then I don't <laughs> mm-hmm. give a shit. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. And so he just kind of offhandedly said that, and I was just like, "I'm his kid." And then like, he, he's he, raised me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he goes like, "Yeah, well, you know, it's uh, no, it's it's just it's yeah, it's different. You know, you're gonna, oh. gonna have like a different like connection with the. Yeah, it's just kind of like backtracking. And how I do you take it. that at like nine? Where he's like, no, 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 no. But he's better than you. Right. No, I know. <laughs> no, 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 and no, no, that's no. but you should have a void within you forever. <laughs> right. Because like, you're unwanted. No, you're. <laughs> his, he's his DNA, and that's gonna be. That's like who a. He that's like a big more. deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what I said. I was like, are you saying that he's gonna love? him more than me and then he was just kind of like uh, it, it, it's just it's just different <laughs> the guy's it's like just caught he's just, he's just it's so just caught. different you like tv you like tv anyway yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there you go oh my god well uh skylar do you have anything you want to plug before you head out uh i didn't tell the second story but that's fine i don't care do we you can, want to uh yeah it's it's also in the same it's in the same vein it was, yeah do it. it let's, let's do it, it. okay uh do you guys like red lobster Wait. I fuck with Red Lobster. Okay, I do not fuck with Red Lobster. Oh, that hurts my or seafood at all. I uh, okay. Go ahead. Oh, look, look the the, the, the Red cheese. Lobster, Red Lobster thing is just if you grow up in the middle of nowhere where there's no culture, Red Lobster is the fancy. <laughs> yeah. Red Lobster well, is like yeah, the birthday. That's where you go. See, people. Yeah. Well, that is in my my vision of Red Lobster when I was in college in Fargo that was the place where we would like get super baked and high and that was like the one spot see that would oh, be okay, fun I'm talking about like there's people they're putting on like their church clothes no we oh, would get high get and serious. laugh at those people we like, <laughs> look at these people getting I was, married I was at part Red of Lobster there's, that's like a big <laughs> Red Lobster's like a big deal yeah but like you go to Red Lobster it's like it's your birthday you did something uh-huh. and now, they, now I brought Red Lobster to the pandemic A it's not that good no it's like repackaged, like fucking. Uh, yeah, what's that other shit? Lobsters like? are supposed to be red. It's not <laughs> special. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, <laughs> it's basic. Black and white cow. Yeah, yeah, great. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Such a great. I guess, but what we're saying is positive mental associations with red lobster. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I do not have that. Okay. I remember the. Maybe it wasn't. Not the even first the biscuits time. though. <laughs> Like, let's be for the real. The biscuits I'll take, let's, but it's, you know, yeah. the yeah. biscuits can uh, find their way out of my childhood trauma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, I think it, it might have been the first time I went to Red Lobster. I don't really know. It's the only time I can remember being there. And this might be why I still don't fuck with seafood. I never liked, like, seafood or whatever. I'm like, let me get the this, you know. And uh, they were like, no, like, I, you just have to, you know, how parents make you try food. You yes. don't want to fucking try. Yes. They're like, try the, I think it was the lobster. There was some kind of whatever that fucking yellow. So I remember a yellow. It's, a, it's, a, it's either crab or, or lobster. You it was a. The, you put the butter on there. But, okay, but it didn't taste. I don't think it was, because it was a different consistency. It's it like melted butter, yeah. Okay, well, I'm fine with melted butter, so I guess that 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 wasn't the problem. Yeah, yeah. But it was just I like uh, the texture or whatever was gross. I don't, I don't like, like the taste lobster of either. Seafood, I oh, could or not shellfish. Yeah, I couldn't swallow it. Right, yeah. and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna swallow this. I gotta spit this out. That's how I talked too as a kid. Hey, friends, uh, the family, I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 listen, I can't, not happen. guys, I can't do this. No, <laughs> so I, so I like go to spit it out, and then of course the classic, uh, in in the style that he does, he goes like, no, you, you, you don't spit that out. You can't spit that out. You have to. You that's, have. That's some white trash, dude. If you're at Red's Lobster and you're like, no, that's precious. <laughs> you gotta swallow that. That's premium lobster right there, boy. This is the best we can get. <laughs> this is all we deserve. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, offended on behalf of the lobster. I'm still the. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> we spin that on. So I, I wanted. To, I really like. I could. I'm like, okay. Well, then I guess I'll try. And I keep like trying to like swallow it, but like my body and throat like won't it won't let me. And so I'm like struggling to swallow it and I can't spit it out. So then I start being like, I need to throw up and he's like, Don't throw up and it's of course oh, no. that it becomes this same fucking no. spiral thing How of can like you say don't throw up to somebody. That's not like a thing that oh okay, yeah, gotcha. Right. I can't I'll swallow. I'll just stop it. now. Yeah. I can't throw up. <laughs> Back to eating crap. Yeah. There's you just now it's this shit my mouth is starting to become a slush of like oh, disgustingness. And he's like, You better not throw up. Not in this here, Red Lobster. <laughs> not in this house of the Lord, Red Lobster. 
And so I remember, I don't think they stayed that much longer for like the rest of the meal. But I remember like we drove all the way home with me having like no. all this fucking gross shit in my mouth. And then we drove all the way home and then I go upstairs, go to the bathroom and then like throw up in the toilet with my dad yelling at me like, all the way home. <laughs> All wait, the way wait, from wait, Red Lobster. So you held it like a chipmunk in your in your mouth? You're goddamn right. <laughs> like an so, Alvin in the goddamn so chipmunk. That's it was the insane. the craziest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. No, that I That is some real spite. No, it was it was like yeah, the bike was, and then you're like oh I'll, I'll throw I'll wait to throw it up yeah. you're like having it in your cheeks you're no like I, I didn't have the option they were like don't fucking he was like don't fucking throw up don't throw up in the car you don't spit that out here you don't spit it out in the car you can't throw up in the car <laughs> we're we're driving with... all the way home I have like fucking disgusting oh, shit I can't in my imagine. mouth well I, now no, it doesn't matter what food it is it's gonna be absolutely vile yeah you just keep it in your mouth exactly. pouch exactly and I kept it in and it was like you know a fucking 15 minute drive home I yeah remember, oh. 10, 15 minutes. i don't <laughs> so, remember and then i go all pure, the way up the, the whole time like being yelled at and then i just go all the way up and and then just throw it up into the into the fucking toilet and shit and then uh yeah so like that yeah that was that was that is <laughs> yeah red lobster that's <laughs> when you want to hold throw up in your mouth for 30 minutes red lobster that is so. That's wild. That's so. F- and I, I can, I can see him just like at the restaurant, just covering your, your, your mouth <laughs> yeah, with his hand, yeah. just being like, "Don't and just don't, swallow." I sw- because who? But who is he gonna? Uh, is he gonna upset the lobsters? Who was he trying to impress? Yeah, I don't. I guess, is, I guess every other Mormon in Red Lobster. I don't like, this is a bi- This is know. a big deal. I have no fucking. I mean, clue. especially a Mormon, they'll lose their mind. Like, I, you can't, I don't, you can't handle any fun at all. I mean, some shrimp. I mean, uh, anytime you're looking a at water. a kid and being like. You better you you have to swallow you that. Must. And it's like, come on, you're 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 in a losing battle. A- asking for because it's also like a child, like it's a I kid. I spit out so much food as a kid. Cause yeah, I, I I remember just being like, even though I liked carrots, if I you know you take a bite of a carrot and sometimes it's a little like off or something, I would just like pull the old like wipe it with a napkin, bunch it up, keep it in my keep it in my pocket. Yeah. See, that's a. That's but I'm glad you shared that do. story because I was fucking crazy. No, I, it was crazy. So that's why you know I was recently. Um, <laughs> You're like, I just don't like seafood for some reason. Yeah, no, like, I, I know. Think yeah, I think there's a reason. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a yeah, very good reason. There. It was held hostage in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. For yeah and I, you I just was... start crying every time you see it for some <laughs> yeah. unbeknownst why <laughs> reason. Yeah, long long John Silver's really makes you tear up. Yeah, you just start, <laughs> I don't know why. I just start shaking yeah, every time I'm near yeah. the beach. I don't know. That's blacked about. out when yeah, yeah. someone just mentioned crab rangoon. Yeah. <laughs> well, Skylar, thank you so much for being here, man. That was so yeah. much fun. Thank you for having me. That was fun Absolutely. to relive my trauma with you. That's goddamn right. So we're about <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, baby, that's the brand. Hey guys, you just listened to another episode of Fuck You Dad. Uh, if you could Follow us on our Instagram, which is F-C-K-Y-O-U-D-A-D podcast. That's the important one. Uh, We also have a Twitter account, which is F-C-K-Y-O-U-D-A-D-P-O-D-C-A-1. If you could follow that. Also, uh, please submit any father stories that you have that you'd like us to... uh, make fun of, laugh at, or share, uh, shoot that to our Instagram DMs, and if you could please uh, go ahead and rate the podcast, share the podcast with uh, your friends and family that might enjoy it, and keep listening. Thank you so much.